Over 3,300 years ago, as the Jewish people, the children of Israel, were leaving Egypt, they were attacked in unprovoked ambush by the nation of Amalek. The reason Amalek attacked them is because Amalek is evil. And the reason they attacked the children of Israel because the children of Israel want to make the world a godly place. And God said that the mission of the Jewish people is to wipe out the evil that represents Amalek. And God said, we're not supposed to forget our very, very important mission. So much so that our sages have said that once a year, we're supposed to gather together to hear that admonition in the Torah. Do not forget what Amalek did to you so that we remember to dedicate ourselves to the eradication of evil. We do that once a year on the Shabbos before Purim, and that is this coming Shabbos. And therefore, I'm asking everyone to be sure to come to hear the Torah read this Shabbos. It just takes a moment or two. It'll happen sometime around 10, 15 in the morning, maybe 10, 20, somewhere right around there. We'll be all done in time for the youth groups, but especially as the words of the Chafetz Chaim, that parents are to bring their children and to imbue in their children that memory that this is part of the collective of the Jewish people. At a time like this, right now, it is very important for us to remember who we are and what we are and the important message and mission that we stand for. So therefore, I invite all of you, please try to come to show this Shabbos morning. Please bring your children. Please bring your parents. Please bring anyone that you can, men, women, olders, empty nesters, parents with little children. Maybe if the kids are it's still in strollers, okay, that won't work. But later, any age above that. We're going to read it again later on after Kiddush for those people that couldn't make it earlier. But please try to come and be part of that and make this a very, very special Purim, a Purim where we bring goodness into the world and evil has been vanquished.